Hey guys, so I just woke up and I'm about to head to gym. Uh, I thought it would be really cool to show you a full day of plant-based eating. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. And make sure to like and subscribe this video for more content. So most days I start with a cup of coffee. Uh, this is the Chemex Coffee Brewer. And just some random coffee that I had lying around. I ground it up and put it in. So I'm going to prepare a cup of coffee. Uh, lately I've been avoiding caffeine and coffee in general, but once in a while I do rely on it to get an extra boost before gym. Now, I don't know about you, but I love grapefruit. So I'm going to slice up this grapefruit and have it with my coffee. I've had my coffee and grapefruit now, and I feel so much better. I feel energized and ready for the gym. So I got all dressed, and I'm going to head out now. When I get back, I'm probably going to have a smoothie and maybe uh, some kombucha or something like that. So it's still uh, quite cold outside. It's late March, and I live in Toronto, Canada. So. I still have to wear a huge jacket outside, unfortunately. Okay, so it's about 12.15 right now. I just got finished with my workout and I'm back home. So one thing I love to do after my workouts is drink kombucha. It's sort of a random thing that I started doing, but it really makes me feel refreshed after my workout. So my favorite brand of kombucha is uh, the Farm Boy Organic Kombucha, and this is the ginger flavor. Uh, so Farm Boy is a grocery store in Toronto. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have a couple sips of this and then I'm gonna have my smoothie. So I'm about to have my smoothie. I put a lot of ingredients in my smoothies. Uh, so here they all are. Um, this is broccoli sprouts. Uh, I do sprout broccoli seeds. I'm not very good at it because they don't grow as big as I'd like them to, but I still eat them nonetheless. This is uh, about three tablespoons of flax ground. Cinnamon, I put about a teaspoon in. One organic banana. Uh, one scoop of Vega protein and greens powder. Uh, this is my favorite protein powder, but I do have others as well. I put a little bit of Dulcin for iodine. Chia seeds, about one tablespoon. I put a handful of kale in. Uh, one scoop of creatine. Uh, this does say vegan on it, so I trust that it is vegan. Uh, just some blueberries. Uh, maybe one or two tablespoons of hemp hearts. Uh, one or two tablespoons of organic peanut butter. I always make sure to buy organic. I think it's much healthier and nicer than the non-organic. And about a cup of gluten-free oats. These are organic and I got them on Amazon. Yeah, so those are all my smoothie ingredients and I'm going to make it now. Okay, so I forgot to mention I also put one date in my smoothie. Okay, so I also forgot to mention I put about two cups of water into my smoothie. Um, I don't buy almond milk or plant-based milks. I don't think they're really worth it and they're expensive. No, I think water is good enough. So I'm going to mix my smoothie right now. So in 
terms of supplements, I don't take very many supplements. Uh, these are the four that I usually take daily. Um, so this is just a multivitamin. It's by Optimum Nutrition. It's a multivitamin for active men. I take about three sprays of this. It's a zinc throat spray. Um, it has echinacea and uh, uh, zinc in it. Zinc glu gluconate, I believe. This is my uh, liquid B12. I take this every day. I love this brand. It's uh, Vimergy. You can buy it on Amazon. And this is the brand of vitamin D that I take. I take about two soft gels, so that's 2,000 I use. Okay, so it's 1 p.m. and I'm already going to have my next meal. I usually aim for 1 p.m. for my second meal. Uh, I'm trying to gain weight right now, so I usually leave an hour and a half between meals, but today I was a bit late with my first meal, so I'm just going to keep to my normal schedule and move along. Okay, so this meal is super random. Uh, but it's something I do fairly often. Um, so this is vegan kimchi that I made, and I usually have this daily, about a forkful. It's uh, really spicy and full of probiotics, which is good for your gut. Uh, these are homemade fermented pickles that I make regularly. And I usually have a little bit of a pickle and some of the juice, which is good for electrolytes. Um, this is nutritional yeast and popcorn. So I this is one of my favorite snacks. Um, just popping popcorn and sprinkling nutritional yeast on top. Uh, it's really delicious, and it's uh, I think. Nutritional yeast has a lot of protein in it, so it's a good option for a topping. Um, this is how I pop my popcorn. I bought this uh, tool on Amazon, and it's like a silicone bowl that you, you just place about a quarter of a cup of popcorn kernels in it, and place it in your microwave for about four minutes and you'll have perfectly popped popcorn without having to use any oil. Um, and then I also had this green organic uh, Granny Smith apple that I need to use. So I'm going to have that with about a quarter cup of almonds. So yeah, pretty random meal, but I think it will be quite delicious. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is that before every meal, I'll have a liter of water. I think it's super important to stay hydrated, so uh, this is a one liter bottle of water. So it's 2.30 and it's time for my third meal of the day. Um, this is something I do very, very often. So I've got a chili here. It is made with corn, kidney beans, uh, diced tomatoes, red pepper, and without oil. I tend to eat oil-free. 
so there's also some brown rice at the bottom. So something I like to do is make some guacamole as a topping. Uh, it's really, really, really fast. Um, so I have these avocados that I bought at the store yesterday, and they were a really good price, uh, $2 for three. They were reduced. So I'm going to make guacamole with these. Uh, I'm hoping that they're nice inside. Uh, sometimes when I cut open avocados, they're brown. So let's see uh, what the state of this avocado is. Okay, so it's kind of brown, but you know, I think this is still edible, so I'm going to go ahead and eat most of it. I'll just cut the brown parts out. Okay, so there we have it. It's uh, pretty quick to make this, um, so I just put it on top of my chili. I'm not going to eat all of this because it's a lot. Uh, actually, I think I will eat all of it. it So that's my third meal of the day. Okay, it's 4 p.m., so I'm ready to have my fourth meal of the day. Uh, for this meal, I'm having three slices of marinated tempeh uh, with some leftover sweet potato, brown rice, and this is an avocado dressing that I made with just avocado, lemon juice, a bunch of spices, and garlic. So. It's incredibly easy to make, and this is high protein, so, yep, this is what I'm going to eat. Okay, so I was feeling very low energy, so I took um, two tablets of zinc. Uh, supposedly, zinc is a vitamin that a lot of vegans are deficient in and it's important to uh, supplement it regularly, so sometimes I do take extra zinc. Um, I also thought it would be nice to have some purple sauerkraut with my lunch. I just made this uh, last week, and it's my first time ever making purple sauerkraut. Uh, it turned out really, really good. It's really, really sour, and it's a uh, I think sauerkraut is really high in vitamin C, although I could be mistaken on that, so don't quote me. But I'm just going to have like a forkful of sauerkraut with my meal. So this is the fifth meal of the day. Um, I'm having it at 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, so it's a lentil curry with vegetables. Uh, just some vegetables I had lying around in my fridge, like potatoes and celery, carrots, uh, onions, garlic, ginger. I pretty much just throw any vegetable I have in, and it always turns out good. Then I also sprinkled some walnuts and pecans on top for omega-3s. So I know it's not that colorful, but it is very tasty and filling. So I'm going to enjoy it. Okay guys, so it's time for my final meal of the day. It's 7 p.m. and I decided to go with this cashew cream sauce and uh, lentil pasta, red lentil and rice pasta. I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's high protein and it's pretty tasty. Sometimes I put parsley on top and that's optional. So I hope you enjoyed this day of eating. Um, 
if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer. Um, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. So thank you. Bye.